Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a relaxing rainy day clean with me. So I know it looks super bright outside right now, but it is actually very overcast and foggy. It's muggy outside. We're supposed to get a lot of thunderstorms today. So I figured since I'm gonna be in the house pretty much the majority of the day anyway, I may as well go ahead and use this time to my advantage and get my house nice and clean. I have been neglecting our house this week in particular because we have had so much going on recently and I just have not had the opportunity to tackle some things here in the house. I did mop my floor yesterday, so I'm pretty proud of that, so I won't be doing that today. I like to keep the floor as clean as possible because I do have a little one and she is crawling and walking all over the place these days, so I try to keep the floor as clean as I can. But that also means that other things get put on the back burner. Today I'm gonna to be focusing on the kitchen because this is like the main area of the house, the kitchen and living room area, as well as my bedroom. You guys have not seen my bedroom in a long time and that is because I typically save that for the last room of the house to clean. So I typically start out in the kitchen and then work my way into the nursery and guest room because we have people visiting a lot and I always wanna make sure that Eliana's room is clean. And then I always just save our bedroom for last. So honestly, it's not really clean the majority of the time because I focus on all of the other areas of the house and I always leave that room for last and I just never get to it. So today I am making it a priority to get in my bedroom and clean it because again, today Today is a relaxing, kind of rainy, gloomy day, and I want to have that space so that I can go there in the evening after I put my little one down to bed and just relax, you know, put some lavender essential oil in my diffuser, have some tea, which I do have now as well. So I just wanna kind of create that relaxing space that I haven't had in so long, and that is really gonna be kind of my main priority today. If you are new here and you're not yet subscribed, consider hitting that red subscribe button and you will get all things related to motherhood, home, and lifestyle. So I hope this gives you some cleaning motivation if you need to tackle some areas in your house as well and let's go ahead and get to cleaning. So I am starting out in the kitchen by unloading the dishwasher and I'm just putting these dishes over on some towels on the counter to air dry for just a little while while I clean the rest of the house because for whatever reason, this dishwasher never gets our dishes completely dry. No matter how much jet dry we use or anything like that, the dishes are always still wet at the end of each cycle. So I have found that if I let them sit out to air dry a little bit while I'm cleaning the rest of the house, then by the time I'm finished, they are usually ready to put away. So I'm just going to go ahead and load the dishwasher now and then get to the rest of the cleaning.
these past couple of years, a new passion of mine has truly become just kind of learning about how to create a clean and natural home for my family and I. And this is something that I didn't foresee, but it is so interesting. And now that I kind of know the ins and outs a little bit, I mean, I'm no expert, don't get me wrong, but now that I kind of know a little bit about it, it is so, so interesting to me. And it really helps me to see things in such a new light. Now, I am not perfect at this by any means. I still have a lot of things that I can change for the better, but I have taken steps over these past couple of years to move in a more natural and clean direction. That way I can create a healthy, clean environment for my family, my babies, my pets, just everyone. So now that I know a little bit more about it, it is just so exciting to kind of be able to share that. And a lot of the products that I'm using in this video are very natural, clean products. Some of them do have some fragrance to them, which is not the best of the best unless it's natural. However, like I said, I'm not perfect by any means, but we are moving in the general direction. So speaking of creating a clean and natural home, I have to share this new candle that I got with you guys. This candle, believe it or not, is from Publix. If you have a Publix near you, they have these amazing smelling candles. This one is soy based, so it has a soy wax. It just says natural wax, but I did look it up to make sure. And it is made with essential oils, which are a natural fragrance. And you guys, it smells so good. It's clean for the environment without all of those yucky toxins, and it just, makes my whole home smell so nice. She really likes to play with these washcloths. I like to put them in her O-ball as just a little bit of a sensory activity for her. I just put them inside like this. These are just those little baby washcloths. And then she can pull them out and she really likes to do that. So I will be doing a video on sensory activities for babies as well as how I teach her. So she has learned so much this month already and I wanna share some things that we're doing. So. Stay tuned for those videos if you are a mama. I think you'll really enjoy them, but this is just a super easy sensory activity. And really not just sensory, but fine motor skills. It really helps her to just practice pinching, pulling, grabbing, and just using her fine motor skills. So I'm gonna put this, this is kind of like a miscellaneous toy, so that's kind of like my miscellaneous bin also. And then this one is supposed to be puzzles, but as you can see, <laughs> it is a little bit more than that. So I'm just gonna organize this clean up her space, and then once I'm kind of done with the living room area, I'm gonna move on into my bedroom.
Okay, so now that it's completely clean out here in the living room, dining room, and kitchen, which is our main area of the house, I am actually gonna move into our bedroom, which is pretty bad, you guys, so it's kind of embarrassing. Oh my gosh, but I haven't done it in so long. I haven't cleaned in there in so long. We did change the sheets the other day, so I am just gonna go ahead and leave that as is, but everything else, like. We do the laundry regularly as far as bedding goes and everything, but it just gets messy in there. And so, yes, <laughs> it should be fun. But typically I would move into Eliana's nursery and her room is so easy though. It takes like two minutes to clean up in there. So I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I really need to focus on our bedroom because I usually neglect that area. So I am debating whether or not I should go ahead and just vacuum really quick. Yes, I should. I mopped yesterday, so I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum the floor really quickly because Chief has been bringing in some sand. And it's so funny because I actually have been waiting for rain. It's, it's supposed to be a rainy day clean with me and it's not raining, which I'm not complaining, but it is so funny because now I feel like it's sunnier outside than it was earlier. <laughs> It's supposed to be stormy all day. So anyway, I'm not complaining. Like I said, I'm probably going to go outside and throw the ball with Chief here in just a little bit. But um, by the way, oh my gosh, you guys, this candle smells so, so, so good. Like I am so obsessed with this candle and it's healthy. It's natural. So it smells amazing. But okay, let's go ahead and move into my bedroom. I am procrastinating because I don't want to clean in there, but I hope this gives you some motivation. Let's do it together. Put me on your TV and let's go ahead and tackle a project that we are not looking forward to together and get this done. Let me know down in the comments below which room in the house that is for you. For me, it's my bedroom. Alright, so I'm in my bedroom now and it is a disaster. I have stuff everywhere. We recently took down my corner computer stand and I moved my computer off to the side because the way that it was angled with this little desk, it just didn't work. My back was hurting all the time. The chair that I had was just a regular like dining room chair and it was just hurting all the time. And that's probably why I honestly have not been motivated to put videos out because the editing process was just so taxing on my body. And I used to work off of a laptop, um, but we upgraded to a desktop computer, but now I'm wishing that I had a laptop again. So I still have my old laptop. It just works really slowly in iMovie, which is where I edit my videos. And so the desktop, although I love it, it just, you know, I have to have a good setup and I really don't have the best setup here. So I'm doing what I can to try to, you know, relieve some of the strain on my body and make sure that I am sitting comfortably. Since I'm gonna be sitting for a long period of time, I wanna make sure that I'm being supported in all of the right areas. And the way that it was set up before just was not working. So this way works a little bit better. I need to have Chaz build me like a little, um, computer riser for the space that I have but this desk is so tiny because I don't have an office you guys so you'll see in a minute but I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the space and it's not the prettiest thing right now but this is kind of what I'm working with right now so bear with me life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I So 
all of this stuff you see here is from our Valentine's Day family photo shoot, which you guys will see those pictures in just a couple of days. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram and that you are subscribed to my channel if you aren't already. And make sure your notification bell is on because I believe I will be including those pictures in an upcoming video here on Friday. Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So this looks a little crazy over here, but it's really not as bad as it seems. So this is just a big pile of blankets and pillows on top of Chief's dog beds. So like I said, we just changed out the bedding. So we put this white bedding on, but this is the comforter that was on there and it's super thick and fluffy. And we had just thrown it on the floor and Chief really liked it. He was just laying on it. So we left it down here for a little while because he was just so comfy and cozy and he's been sleeping on this for the past two nights. So I just left it down here. I'm not sure how that jean jacket got in there though. I will be honest about that. <laughs> But anyway, I do have some books and stuff over here on the floor as well. But like I said, most of this is just pillows and blankets on top of Chief's dog beds. Yes, he has two that we layer because he's just comfier that way. He's pretty spoiled. So <laughs> we give him more than he really needs. But anyway, he's our firstborn. That's for sure. So it is already feeling pretty good in here, though. So that side of the room is done. And then now we're just kind of going to work our way this way. It's raining. I knew it was coming. <laughs> So 
So for whatever reason, I always end up using our dresser as a catch-all space. It's like our kitchen island. I don't know what it is with these two spaces, but they end up being a little area where we just set everything when we're walking from room to room. And it's something that I really, really want to work on for the future because I really don't feel like this space needs to be cleaned up all that often if I just put things back in their place. So that is one of my goals for this year. And in the future, whenever we move to our new house, I want to make sure that we are being very mindful and not lazy about putting things away when we have them out. So anyway, let me know what catch-all space do you have in your home, if any, and if you have any tips, which I know you guys have given me some before, but what tips do you guys have for keeping these areas clean? I would love to know in the comments below. for today anyway. That feels so good. The room feels so much better. I have been meaning to clean this bedroom for so long, you guys. So that feels so, so nice. <sighs> it feels just like a breath of fresh air. Like I can finally breathe in here. And this is our most sacred space, you know, in the house. And this is where we come to unwind and rest and rejuvenate. And when it's messy, I just feel like I can't do that. I can't clear my head properly. I can't fully relax. And so with a clean, organized room, I really can truly do that now and it feels so much better. Eliana typically goes to bed around 6 to 7 p.m. every single night and she sleeps until 6 to 7, if not later, the next morning. And so I really have no excuse to have a messy house. Well, yes, I do. I'm a mom. <laughs> And I work from home, multiple jobs, really. I have three different things that I do from home. So yes, it is very busy. So actually, the more you think about it, we really need to just give ourselves grace, especially as mamas. I mean, we do so much. Whether you work a nine to five job or you are a stay at home mom, I mean, that's a job in itself, let's be real. Or if you work from home on the side as well, I mean, it doesn't matter. It is just hard work. So we need to make sure that, you know, we grant ourselves a little bit of grace every now and then and don't expect everything to be perfect all the time because it's not going to be. I mean, as you can see, you know, I mean, I try to do so much all the time and things are not perfect. We are real people just like you. And although I wish I could have, you know, everything just spotless all the time, that's just not the reality of it. So I hope this gave you some good cleaning motivation to tackle some things in your house, to clean up a little bit, to tidy up. I would love to know which room in your house is, you know, your go-to for your relaxation place. For me, it's my room and uh, I can just relax in here finally. Like I mentioned before, if you are new to my channel and you enjoy these types of videos, I would love to have you stick around. Just hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. And then if you click the bell, you will be notified each time I post a new video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, have a beautiful week, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.